they show that rats are self-administering as ketamine, which means that mm -hmm. they are kind of self-administration is one of the um, is a, a behavioral model is a um, that is taught to recreate some of the aspects of uh, of addiction in in rodents. Um, and rats do self-administer as ketamine, at least in in their hands, at least in the in their papers. I see. So there could there could be a difference between S and R, and there's exactly. some evidence that S is reinforcing in rodents, which would imply some addictive potential in humans. Exactly. Exactly. And racemic ketamine again is made of both, so we also have that S ketamine component. Um, okay, so you looked at nucleus accumbens in your paper. You looked at parts of the uh, frontal cortex. Uh, what did you guys see? Uh, well, we also looked at a more posterior slice um, where we have some other interesting regions um, like the lateral abanula, for example, mm. which is a region that has been implicated heavily both with ketamine and with opioid receptors. It is also a region that is part of the reward circuit. It's not been studied um, a lot, definitely less than the prefrontal cortex and the nuclear accumbens, but what we know is that it is also Im implicated with the uh, reward circuitry in the brain. And um, in that slide, we also had the retrosplenar cortex, which is also another region that uh, uh, has been recently shown to, to be involved with the mechanism of action of, of uh, subanesthetic ketamine, and specifically for the dissociative effects of mm. subanesthetic ketamine. Interesting. Um... All right, so you looked at several brain regions using this technique. Um, we've got the ketamine condition. We've got the ketamine plus blocking the opioid receptor condition. Um, what was the basic result that you saw? Um, so essentially, we saw that when we are pre-treating the animals with opioid receptors, um, it is modulating the um, neural activity evoked by its subanesthetic ketamine. So in some regions, it is um, suppressing, at least partially, that neural activation. In some other regions, it is enhancing um, the response to, to ketamine. So it, it appears to have divergent effects in different regions, which is also somewhat expected because some, some of these regions are acting differently, for example, in that reward circuit and in other circuits as well. Um, so that was expected, but there seems to be definitely um, an effect that is mediated by opioid receptors, because when we take them out of the picture, something is changing in the brain.